Vicky and John have been touched by the messages that ordinary people have sent them during Jamie's illness. His mother's honest and moving posts on Facebook have meant thousands have been able to offer their love and support back, and that has clearly given the Ingalls family the strength to cope. Um, and Poppy, what, do you, what, what cake did Jamie have for his birthday? Superman. It's like Superman, isn't it? It's Batman. Vicky was clear that she wanted to talk ahead of the funeral because those people worldwide would be able to see this. It's really helped us to know that, um, first of all, that we're not the only family that have gone through something really sad like this. Other families um, have also had the same tragedy and through social media and, you know, getting our story out there, we've heard other people's stories. Um, and really, having the social media has obviously helped other people um, keeping in contact and, and finding out how Jamie was doing. Um, but for us now, um, we're, we're getting the benefits now from that because obviously the, after the tribute post that we put on um, after Jamie had passed away, we've, we have read every single message that people have put on Jamie's appeal page. and. It does give you some kind of comfort um, to know that you, you draw on people's experiences and how they, you know, how they have coped with these situations, and and I find it really helpful. Obviously, because of the situation with Jamie being so complex and then really becoming quite critical for a long time, um, it was important that. We were very careful with how we worded things, but um, people knew, you know, deep down um, the, the full story. And for us, it, for me, when I was the one putting out the posts, it was um, a great help for me because obviously I couldn't always offload to John because he's already had the same conversation with the doctors. He's seen exactly the same things that I've seen. So sometimes you need to take a step back when you're in something intense like that and, and remove yourself from the situation. So we were both conscious of the fact that we didn't always want to offload what we were always thinking to the other partner. And, um, and so sometimes that's where, you know, Jamie's appeal page you know, really helped us, um, you know, on a personal level, really. Because also you saw people doing things back, didn't you? Like the woman that made the video of Jamie. I mean, that must have been great. For, what you said at the time, it was fantastic to it see. It was fantastic. And uh, I chose my moment when to watch it. And uh, um, I had some time on my own and I thought, right, I'm going to watch it. And instead of feeling really distraught, and emotional. I was so happy because it was the perfect tribute to Jamie with all the pictures. It was obviously set against some fantastic music that was really uplifting. Now back at home, John Vicky and Jamie's sister Poppy are preparing for a celebration of Jamie's life at York Minster on Friday. You know, with all the messages that I've got here, so many people have learned so much just from one little boy. And we've been grieving for a long time the day he was diagnosed with cancer. And now, I don't want to grieve in that way. I want to be happy for Jamie that he has changed so many people's lives. And that's why on Friday we want it to be, of course it will be really emotional, of course it's going to be sad, it, it will be, it will be really, really awful. But at the same time, it will be Fantastic, I know it will. And I know that Jamie will have the best send-off that, you know, any parent could wish for. These pictures were taken back in September, ahead of Community Pride. Jamie was one of the winners, but he was unable to be at the ceremony because he had to go to Germany for pioneering treatment to fight the neuroblastoma. Like all the other photos and video footage, they show the image of an extraordinary little boy who never complained about his condition, and always had a cheeky smile and a sense of fun. The things, the, this sort of social media stuff nowadays means that you know people on your Jamie's Appeal page will be able to see this as well. So I want to ask you this because I know that everybody will be thinking what I'm thinking now. You're not okay, obviously, but are you okay at the moment, you and John? Yeah. 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 I'm okay. It's. <laughs> 
it's uh, it's not okay, as you no, say. No. Nobody should have to be in this situation. No parent should have to be in this situation. But it's life. It happens. Jamie's fought cancer for four years. It was never um, completely out of our minds. Um, and yeah, it it was a long two months um, in intensive care, sort of daily fighting. Um, things that we shouldn't have to fight and deep down you know that it's a really really hard struggle and if we can pull it off that would be fantastic but um, it's something all families who are dealing with cancer it's always in the back of your mind so mentally the last four years have been really hard because you're even when Jamie was in remission, you're always thinking, is it going to come back? And all of that stress and anxiety, I can't explain how that plays on your mind and affects your you know, day-to-day -day life. Having said that, when Jamie was um, going through the therapy in Germany, the hope was that he would you know, be that child that could um, pull through and show the way forward, really, for neuroblastoma. And so I'm really sad for that reason that Jamie didn't make it because I truly believe in what we did and I truly believe in the therapy and I don't want any family in the United Kingdom who's thinking of going for this therapy with their child not to do it because of what happened to Jamie. Jamie's complications were really rare um, and so yeah so it's not okay but I'm okay and I'm quite comforted by the fact that Jamie did the best he could and I know that we did the best we could, the team in Germany did the best they could and something good will come out of you know, what has happened. And Jamie, throughout those two months in intensive care, it was hard for him but he was not in any pain and I take comfort from that, that he, he wasn't in pain and he's certainly wasn't in pain when he slipped away it was all very peaceful just how if if you're faced with that situation with your child you want it to be one way and we got that way